Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with time flying this year, and we are finding ourselves already in June, I thought this may be a good time to post an update regarding Windows 11 25 H2 and what we know so far regarding this year's annual feature update, which is expected to roll out later this year as version 25 H2. Now, Microsoft hasn't officially announced 25H2, but there have been references um, that have been spotted, which have appeared in preview builds of Windows 11. And I have posted on this where Microsoft previously said, and I'll leave the video linked, that it had confirmed that it would begin testing new behind the scenes platform changes for Windows 11 with insiders in the dev channel via a new series of builds in the 26,200 range. Because currently 24H2, last year's annual feature update, is 26,100. So there's a very good chance 26,200 will be the, um, the new series of builds for 25H2. Check the video out for more info. Now, Microsoft is known to roll out the annual feature update in the second half of the year, which they usually do around about September or October. I know 24H2, they started rolling out on the 1st of October, but it's normally September, October, somewhere around that time frame. And I think it's going to remain the same for this year. I don't see why they would change. And by the way, if you're wondering... 25 stands for the year, and H2 means the second half of the year. Now, Microsoft normally rolls out the annual update as a controlled rollout. So it means that a lot of users will not get the update right away. I think that's also true with past annual updates due to safeguard holds and compatibility holds and so on for a whole different bunch of reasons. I don't want to get into that too much for this video. And new Windows 11 version updates or releases are supported for 24 months, two years from the date Microsoft rolled it out. Now, Windows 11 25H2 is expected to roll out so-called on top or as the same platform release that was rolled out with version 24H2 last year in October. So this is very similar to what we saw with 23H2 because Microsoft has done this with version 23H2 which was based on the same platform release as version 22H2. So 25H2 is likely to be a smaller enablement package and not a full-blown operating system upgrade like 24H2 was based very similar on version 24H2. So it means that if 25H2 is rolled out as an enablement package there's a good chance we might see a couple of moment updates, which we saw with 23H2, which Microsoft didn't do with 24H2. Although Microsoft is pushing out a lot of 24H2's features with optional bug fix C release updates and monthly cumulative security updates. And another benefit of an enablement package would mean that the update should be a lot smoother, smaller and faster on your system because it's only enabling features, it's not a full-blown update as mentioned. And the current platform, as you may well know, release that 24H2 and 25H2 are based on is called Germanium. And when it comes to new features that will be rolling out with 25H2, as I posted in a video a couple of days ago, it seems that Windows 11 25H2 will not release all its new features for everyone unless you have a Copilot Plus PC. Go check the video out for more info. Because Microsoft is focusing a lot on Copilot Plus AR features exclusive to those devices. So I think when it comes to so-called regular or standard or normal PCs, like I have as an example, we're not going to see a lot of the features which are going to be AR based. I think we're going to get small improvements here and there. But check the video out for more info. And if you want more information regarding 25H2, I have posted a couple of videos already. So just do a search for 25H2 on the channel. I've got a couple of videos if you want more info. And if you want a reference point as to what we're going to see, give or take, 
in 25H2 when it comes to features. I think the dev channel is a very good place to start where this is where Microsoft is now, although not officially said by Microsoft, unofficially I would say, testing new features for this year's annual feature update with that 26,200 series as mentioned. But I'll keep you guys posted, obviously, as I get more info and I've got something relevant I can actually post about. I'll keep you guys in the loop if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.